They call this the bat, but it's not blind. Just one of the many hush-hush wartime devices now revealed to the public for Navy Day, the bat is a radar-controlled glider bomb that wrecked havoc with Jap shipping in the last months of the war. Trained technicians are being turned out in the Navy's vast program of robot warfare. The bat glides down swiftly and unerringly with its deadly cargo of destruction. Its extreme range is about 12 miles at 10,000 foot altitude. Bombers and fighters both can be armed with the amazing weapon that seeks out its target and destroys it. Bullseye for the bat! Hello everyone. You're looking at the P-70 Night Fighter with the dual glider bomb loadout. This is by far the hardest loadout of any plane to fly in this game. So how do you go about accomplishing things like that without scratching the surface? Well stay tuned and I'll show you how to accomplish just that. So when I first flew this, I got very discouraged because I kept blowing myself up with these bombs. But the key is to shoot one and then shoot another, just like this. And since we're at the first sector, I highly advise to do just that. And I'll take out the AA gun first. And since we're over here, might as well take out this uh, Yonkers 88 real quick. Alright, there we go. Okay, notice my angle come on on in. Not at a flat angle. I'm actually diving down right in. And I'm placing those uh, circular reticles right over each other. Yep, there we go. See? Five kills right there. You can accomplish that too. So there's a Sturm Kashut spot over here. I'm going to line up one circular reticle, release that. And then I'm going to release the second glider bomb. And that Sturm Kashut is down. Key is you cannot fire both of them at the same time. If you do, you really risk colliding with them. So on this Panzer IV over here, I'm going to launch one. I'm going to speed up so I don't collide with that uh, glider bomb behind me. And I'm going to shoot the other. See, just like that. It's like a one-two punch. Got three on that one. So I don't recommend what I'm about to do here. But sometimes you get in a tough jam. And you just got to take that thing on head on. And look at that. That flag Panzer. Down. Like I said earlier, it's a one-two punch as soon as you line it up with the reticles. Okay, so we're at the second sector. I do see a tank over by that small bridge. Gonna line up the reticles. Gonna launch one, then launch the next one. And took that out. Now I did notice at the end, he was flaming. So technically speaking, I could have got away with just launching one. But, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. So earlier I took out that AA that was at the first sector problem is there's another AA that's on this lower bank right there and you gotta be aware of that especially when you go after some of these targets with these glider bombs so still at the second sector I do see a tank over by the small bridge I'm gonna line this up I'm gonna fly a little bit slower this time and I'm just gonna drop it down and there we go and remember key is to not uh, shoot them both at the same time, otherwise you're going to blow up. Alright, so on the way back to the front of this bridge, there's actually a few infantry. I'm going to line up the reticles, circle over circle. And look at that, took out three. Oh, look at that, another flag panzer up. Looks like he's going to try to go after my wee man. Can't let him have that. Line those both up. And Booyaka, look at that. Flat pans are down. And my wingman and I are up. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're at the back of the bridge. There's some infantry. I'm gonna launch one. And then I'm gonna launch the other. Notice on this one, don't have to use the supercharger. Because I'm actually at a dive. And look at that. Three and a tank. Not too shabby. So here's that monster kill from earlier. And what I'm doing is I'm lining both reticles up. And again, I can't stress enough that you really got to make sure that you do it one at a time. 
Otherwise, these things can blow you up really easy. And look at that. Six kills. Pretty nice. So if you want to build up your confidence with this, you got to go for a map like this. Middle of the bridge. One at a time. Get the angle down. And look at that. Four kills right there. Of course, as soon as that A gets on you, you got to kick in that supercharger. Get the hell out of there. So this time around, a lot higher altitude, uh, a lot better dive, I should say. And look at that. Oh, man, those look great. But look, you just increase your chances so much by having that type of angle at that type of a dive. Can you imagine this thing had explosive uh, HE rounds? Oh, my. So I realize there's a lot of people over at A at the bridge. They get a lot of kills right there. But this tank is pushing up. Sometimes you just gotta you know, help your team out by taking out things like a Tiger Tank and so on. So when aiming these, try to get them right in the center so they actually land down on the actual ground of the bridge. Um, because these things can actually just glide right off. So we're still at the second sector. And basically here's what not to do. Um, yeah, see I released that second one too soon. Now I did get the kill, but if I wasn't in a dive, let's say I was just at it like a straight flat angle, I probably would have killed myself on that. Enemy to push us from each sector. So here's a tank coming up. Gonna speed up a little bit. Gonna drop one, and then now I'm gonna drop the second. And I took out that tiger tank. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, a really nice one-two punch. So I know I put a lot of emphasis on the second sector of A, um, at this bridge I should say. And the reason for it is basically things like that. Um, you just dramatically increase your chances of getting some decent kills. So you guys probably already know this, but whenever it's a tank like this, make that the focus. That way everything else is collateral. All right. Oh, sweet. All right, got the tank plus was a four total, so cool. So I guarantee, you know, you're going to fail at this your first time doing it. You got to blow yourself up or whatever, but the point is to just keep at it, you know? Practice makes perfect. Um, and play a map like this, it really builds your confidence because, you know, you can really rack up kills. Oh, man, they got me really messed up. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out this tank right here. Here we go. Oh, crap, I missed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I actually hit the AA on the other side at A. That is sweet. Total accident. So, moments like this are tricky. I gotta maintain a good amount of speed to take out this half track while having this flak panzer try to shoot me out of the sky. And I nailed it. Now I gotta kick in the supercharger. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna try to take out some of these infantry. I think there might be a tank here too. Okay, sweet. And then I gotta kick in the supercharger and I literally gotta get the hell out of here. And as I head back to do more damage at the bridge, of course there is a Stuka. Let's go take this thing out real quick. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get that. Nope, he doesn't have that, uh. What's it, uh. Gunner upgrade. But got two. Now, I only have one backlighter, but I think some of these tanks are already damaged from our team. Let's just kind of drop that in there. And oh, sweet. Took out two tanks. Like a Sturm Tiger and a, uh. Puma. Oh man, we just lost the uh, second sector, which means if I get killed, I cannot get into the plane because we lose the air support. And I took out that Tiger tank, but man, this is really difficult because their AA is now a lot closer and they can just kill me at the spawn. Alright, so this is Allison Dam, just got a headshot on that sniper. And I'm going to try to take out this uh, Puma tank that as well. 
But yeah, just like uh, the other map, this is also a breakthrough. The nice thing about this, there's actually four sectors. And just like with anything, if you fly long enough, you're gonna get into a dogfight at some point. So I'm just gonna take out this stick real quick. And I'll head back to uh, do some more bat glider bombing action. gotta take out this tank because our guys are trying to push up and this guy keeps uh, preventing that from happening all right sweet so he's down gonna head back resupply and head back over there all right now that there's no tank I can focus on this infantry hopefully no Flieger Faust or AA and sweet got three so this Sturm Tiger is already damaged, so I'm just going to hit it with one backlighter. Because I might as well say the other. Sweet, got two in that Sturm Tiger. So just like with the Sturm Tiger earlier, this hill is a hot area for tanks. So line this up on that Puma. And there we go. So I could have saved one, but you know what? It's nice to have a nice one-two punch. So it looks like they got armor up again at that hill. And it's a Puma again. Alright, sweet. Nailed two in this time. I guess they'll never learn. So nothing like being chased by a BF-109 while trying to dogfight with a BF-109. <laughs> Alright, nailed him. Gotta figure something out. I'm gonna try to outrun them. Here we go. We went from a Sturm Tiger to a couple Plumas to an AA gun, and now they got a Pack 40 up. That's alright. Just line those up. I take out that Pack 40, just like that. Shooting these off real quick. I'm going to take off, head all the way back to resupply while that thing's still in the air. And look at this. Look how far away that is. I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Looks like they finally came to their senses and put an AA gun right up here. It's going to do a full-on dive right there. And boom, nailed it. So we have taken the second sector. They're all on a retreat, that's why they're all high light like this. So I'm just gonna line up this was a Sturm Tiger. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Gonna go resupply and then head back to take them out again. So I have this one on Anima 6. And these guys they're still on retreat. There's a few stragglers, but I'm gonna take out a few right here. I'm kicking my supercharger and hopefully I can outrun this guy. Or outfly him at least. Yep, I left him in the dust. Look at that. So we're at the final sector and I took the long route. I'm gonna hit this flag panzer right from behind. He's never gonna suspect it. That paid off. Took out two. Sweet. So even though I took out their flag panzer, you know they're gonna hop on the AA gun. So I'm just going to try to take out this real quick, from behind of course. Now it's too late. He discovered me way too late. Alright, there's a tank on the runway. Going to do a full on dive. Going to release another one. And sweet, it's out. Alright, looks like that flag panzer is back up. Gonna line up these reticles, drop one, drop the other. Okay, sweet, that's out. Gonna go resupply, and then I'm gonna take out that ME 109. Okay, that 109 is down. Gonna kick it in on the supercharger. Get away from that stack AA. So after I get to the resupply over here, there's this 
Junkers 88A, I guess? And I don't know what kind of maneuver this is, but <laughs> he's clearly not a fighter. But I guess it was worth trying. So I'm going to head over here, line up this static AA, and for reticles, and drop another one. Alright. Alright, sweet, got him. I've got to help these guys. So I'm going to drop these right in the front of the hangar. Alright, sweet. Got three of them. That way they can at least try to make a push to cap at B and win this map. So we're at the second sector of uh, Breakthrough on Panzer Storm. And I fired one off at that uh, Pack 40, but I also fired one off on that AA gun took it out. So I don't recommend this because I'm coming at this tank way too low. But sometimes I just don't give a crap. No one's got the kill, but I could have easily gotten Flieger Fausted. Don't recommend that. So I'm going to take a chance on this. I'm just going to head out to this Sturm Tiger. Yeah, I'm flying low again. But I don't think there's any Flieger Fausted back. Nope, there isn't. I ain't got three. Sweet. Looks like there's a half track trying to push up on Bravo over here. I'm gonna drop one glider bomb and immediately another one. And it took out three. Now, I don't recommend releasing it that quick, but nonetheless, I did get it. Alright, so I see that Sturm Tiger. But I'd rather take out the Flag Panzer because he's just gonna mow me down. Yeah, I'm real low, but at this point, I can't worry about a Flieger Fouser. Just had to take out that Flag Panzer. Okay, so with enough practice, you should be able to drop one back glider, then another, and then shoot this guy on a strafe and run, and then they just run into the target just like that. Okay, let's try to take out this Pack 40, because last time I tried to take out Pack 40 with just one glider bomb it didn't seem to kill it so I'm releasing two yep both of them got it so again the one two punch all right half track let's play a little American football with two footballs and here we go and touchdown yeah you know pack 40s are so fun to take out on this map especially at the second sector. But and I only had to use one back lighter that time. You remember that one clothing brand in the 90s called No Fear? Well, right here, you gotta have No Fear. Just go right in there, just take out that feisty little flag passer, because why not? Oh, look at what we have here. Guy in a Puma trying to repair himself at the repair station. Just to get nailed by a P-70 Batwing glider bomber. Alright. Ah, didn't get that guy, but I took out this Tiger tank right here. Alright, that should help the guys over at Bravo. Time for a long distance kill. Wow, look at that. Took out that pack 40 and literally was like a mile or two away after it blew up. Alright, so they're in retreat heading to the third and final sector. Gotta take out this half track. Sweet, took out two in it. Alright, this guy's pretty good with that flag panzer, so I'm gonna let that go from really far away. I'm just gonna take back off to base. And oh my gosh. I mean what an amazing long distance kill. 
and I only have one HP left, so wow. So here at the final sector of Panzer Storm on Breakthrough, there is always lots and lots of tanks. So let's see what we can do. Sweet, took out two in that Tiger tank. Again, you need that one two punch. But nonetheless, pretty sweet. Okay, looks like there's a Puma right down here. And there was, took it out, sweet. So it always helps when you have a teammate, of course, on the AA as well. Because you guys can do a little take team action, and if you're in trouble, you just go by and he helps you out. But nonetheless, we took that 109 out. Looks like there's a stern tiger there. Definitely gotta take this out. Better help the guys get alpha. Okay, cool. Took that out. Gonna head on back here in a bit. Okay, looks like there's a tank over here. Oh wait, no, that's a flag panzer. Heck yeah, I'm gonna take that out. Oh yeah. And there you guys have it. Breakthrough on Panzer Storm. Hello everyone, and thanks for watching today's episode. You're at the specialization segment of today's episode. And with that said, this is the long-awaited episode of the P-70 Night Fighter uh, 2X Bat Glider Edition. This is by far the hardest uh, loadout to fly, and when you uh, get this thing maxed out, unless you already have it maxed out, you'll definitely notice that um, it doesn't perform like other planes. But before we get into all that nitty gritty of the specialization tree and so on, I thought I'd show you guys my... Uh, my skin, which is the epic shadow skin for the P-70 Nightfire, so let's take a look at that. Alright, yeah, I thought this was the nicest looking one of the four that you can pick from. Um, they're just, this one seems as though it's in a league of its own, in my opinion. Um, anyway, now let's, let's go ahead and take a look at that specialization tree. And starting off with the far right side, um, I did decide to go with the 6X HMGs. Um, Got to have that, in my opinion, um, instead of going with the improved route supply. Um, because, you know, you want to be able to escape those AAs, flag panzers, and so on. You, you're not going to be able to accomplish that if you have this plane uh, moving too slow. Uh, you need that high acceleration to pull that off. And then next, I went with the fin barrels, um, because, you know, obviously overheats. If you don't have this, you're still going to get the emergency repair. If you're wondering about that, it's right here. Because here's the thing, if you go with the smoke instead, it eliminates that you won't have the emergency repair. Uh, the only plane in this game, I think, where you can have both the emergency repair and the smoke is the BF-109 G6. Basically, that plane is like having your cake and eating it too. Alright, and of course, what this video is all about um, is the 2X back glider bombs, the 2X ASM dash and dash two bombs um, and you're gonna notice that the balance of your plane is way different compared to the other uh, glider bomb uh, variant that I did on the F4U1C Corsair um, of course that plane is just a lot more maneuverable um, it would have been really nice if this specialization 
would have been further down. Like let's say this Imperial Control surfaces would have been like right here. It says spawn beacon. Um, I think that definitely would have helped the plant. So because when you're up there, you you feel like you're, you know, <sighs> trying to maneuver like I don't know, like a 1974 Cadillac El Dorado. I mean, it's just it's just this great big giant boat plane. It's just uh. Yeah, you're not going to be able to easily snap to targets or anything like that. Um, and then also I was going to mention is, you know, I realized the want to right click, of course, if you're on PC, you know, if you're on a console and so on, um, you know, you, you're wanting to aim in and you're wanting to uh, use the regular crosshair, right? You're not going to be able to accomplish that. Um, even if you get extremely lucky, it, it just... It looks funky, the screen looks all, you know, it just looks messed up, like, you'll see what I mean. Um, you have to use the circle reg uh, reticles to uh, accomplish any sort of kills with this, whether they're monster kills or just, you know, one or two. Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's what this video is about, so of course, that's what you have to have selected. Um, and then this here I mean yeah you could go with a spawn beacon um, I guess maybe that could help out if you're playing um, where you want people to move up real quick on the objective I guess on that final sector of um, Panzer Storm maybe that'd be very beneficial to drop one of those I don't know I wasn't really into that I just thought having to increase ammo um, for my playstyle, just seemed to be the way to go. Um, and then last, the spying scope. For me, I want to have the spying scope particularly on, um, you know, like Twisted Steel, for instance, in the middle. Because, you know, if I pre fire the target, yeah, it says it, you know, it calls out spot infantry for teammates, but in reality, it also calls it out for yourself. And that way, you can have those guys lit up like a Christmas tree, for instance. So, but at the same time, I can see where this bottom one would be very beneficial if you're going up against um, lots of AA, you know, and, and flag panzers and so on. I could definitely see that being beneficial on a map like um, Alcindan, the final sector, where they can get two AAs plus flag panzer or uh, panzer storm, final sector. Um, heck, not even final sector, second sector. I think there's... Um, there's yeah, there's two AAs. There's there's one uh, next to all those uh, pack 40s, right? And then there's another one behind that little forest area. And then of course, then they could have a flag panzer on top of that. So they literally, you could have three AA guns after this. So I could definitely see where having an armor fuselage would be beneficial. Um, might even recommend you starting off with that until you get uh, used to using this loadout. Now, with that said the specialization tree. Does it have my stamp of approval as far as being your main um, specialization tree to go with for um, everyday use and to just, you know, like maximum ponage just being, you know, like this dominating force that wrecks havoc in the sky and on the ground? I have to say no. Um, if you see my volume one, by all means, check out my volume one. I get incredible monster kills with it, and it's because of this right here, the 12x M8 rockets. And you know, this loadout is just way, way better. I mean, you know, if you're on the six of uh, an airplane, for instance, I mean, you can instantly take it out. Um, you're taking out flag pans are so much more quicker. Tiger tanks, you name it. I mean, if you're trying to help your team with armor, that's the way to go. But for, you know, uh, video making purposes and for just having fun with a different loadout, giving yourself self something um, different, I should say, uh, to play around with, then yeah, I, I could totally recommend this because it's actually fun. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we're all trying to try different loadouts and just basically have fun with this game. Um, especially if you're a person that's going into uh, Battlefield 2042. I personally, I don't know how much I'm going to like Battlefield 2042. Um, I've always been a, a fan of uh, World War II themed games. I get it that this game is not a historically accurate uh, World War II game, but I like the pace of Battlefield 5. So even when Battlefield 24, 
2042 comes out, I'm still going to do videos on Battlefield 5 because I just I love that style of play. I love that uh, pace of game. All right, so that's it as far as my specialization tree goes. Um, a few tips I want to give you guys is, you know, uh, well, this isn't really a tip, but nonetheless, I, I want to throw this out there, and that is when you start out with this, you're going to want to give up. You're going to say, to hell with this plane. Uh, it's just not worth it. And if you decide that, hey, I, I understand. I, I get it. Um, I almost threw in the towel. But then, you know, you start noticing, like, you know, a map like Twisted Steel, for instance, that bridge, you know. Um, if you land those just right, you can really get some nice kills, and then it builds your confidence and so on. And so, yeah, stick with it. But remember, you know, you got to get those reticles, the circular reticles, overlapping each other. So it's circle and circle. Um, please try to remember never to fly at a straight, flat angle while flying this you want to get up as high as you can preferably I get it you know a lot of times we're not that patient but at least try to go into the target as some form of a dive um, and preferably uh, you know shoot off one wait like maybe two seconds then shoot off the next uh, bag glider and then have it go to the target um, another thing I totally advise is, uh, you know, shooting off one, kick in the supercharger, then shoot off another. And the reason why I advise this is because when I was first, you know, playing around with this plane, trying to, you know, get an understanding of how to fly this thing uh, properly and be devastating with it, is one thing I noticed was, you know, it's like, if you shoot off both of these, like, boom, boom you're totally going to run into the backlighter. Guaranteed, because they, they move too slow. Um, why wasn't this an issue with the uh, F4U1C Corsair? Because that plane is a lot faster than this, believe it or not. So it's like, these things will run into your plane. It will blow up your plane. You're going to blow up so many times. It's ridiculous. Guaranteed. Uh, somebody says, you know, oh, well, that's not going to happen to me. You're, you're full of it. No offense. But... You know, it's like, yeah, you want to fly this plane, you're guaranteed blow up a lot. So get used to blowing up a lot, having a lot of accidents and so on, a lot of frustration and so on. But nonetheless, give this a shot. I would love to hear you guys' feedback on what kind of success you've had with this, what kind of targets you've gone after. As you can see, you, you can even do a little bit of dogfighting with it. Do I recommend you going up against the most skilled <laughs> PF109 G6 player out there with this loadout? No, of course not. But if you happen to be on a 6, you still have a fighting chance. So, Alright, i kind of out of breath for some reason. I guess, I guess I'm just so excited about this plan. Um, I'm glad I've been able to finally do it. I know this video was a lot longer than the others, but I did three full maps because I wanted to show you guys the three maps that support this plane. Um, which, of course, you know, was it uh, uh, Province? You know, I wish that map had air support. If it did, oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. But it doesn't. But nonetheless, the three maps that support the American side uh, against the Germans, um, and then, you know, of course, have this plane. I went ahead and show that off to you, which is uh, Twisted Steel Breakthrough, um, Al Sandan Breakthrough, and Panzer Storm on Breakthrough. Now, of course, you didn't notice the first sector of uh, Al Sandan because, of course, that's a really hard sector. There's no air support. So I only showed you the maps in which, of course, those sectors had the air support. Uh, later on down the road, um, I may do uh, videos on just like conquest or something like that but i always really like you know the uh breakthrough game type i just feel as though for my style of play that's just it's just the most fun and you can rack up the most amount of kills that way so with that said um there you have it there will be some more videos coming out of course it won't be um you know, on the glider bombs and so on, but there'll be other, you know, plane videos. I got some uh, infantry videos I want to release soon. So, again, leave some feedback. Uh, 
let me know what you thought about the video and go ahead and give this a try sometime and uh you know leave a like comment and i really would like to hear from you guys on what you think the channel's still growing doing well and with that said thanks again for watching today's episode and we will see you on the next one